Ciao a tutti! Hi! How are you? <laughs> I'm so happy to meet you here. I tried to make uh, like an event here on Facebook and I hope you can hear me. So what I ask you is please tell me if you can hear me, tell me if you can um, see me and watch me because it's not so easy now. And so <laughs> this is what I'm asking you. Today we are going to make a great recipe that is the limoncello directly from my mom recipe that I can grant you is fantastic and I'm sure it will be a great success but before I hope that everyone is okay here in Italy things are going very well now um, it's time to pack your um, luggage and baggage and uh, bags and come here oh ciao kelly thank you and ciao carla thank you kelly thank you for your feedback it's so important <laughs> grazie mille and so girls i wait for you here in tuscany or in italy i can't wait to see you in person grazie mille carla thank you very much uh, I want before to make this recipe. I want to. Ciao, Julian! Bene, bene, bene. I want to 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 tell you that this recipe has some tips and tricks, as um, every kind of recipe uh, that you know is Italian, because in Italy uh, sometimes we have just particular and precise size and ingredients and amounts for cakes and desserts but when you when we talk about pasta or something else uh, many things uh, the, the people who are cooking know very well that you have to feel in your fingers in your heart and you go love and cook and everything is okay because you leave this from when you are where you were a child and so that's what i i'd like to to inform you about so Let's go with limoncello. I want to greet Ginny, Ginevra, because we miss her tonight. Uh, I'm so sorry if I am alone with you, but you can write me so I can watch everything in direct uh, and streaming. And so, girls uh, and guys, um, we can go. For people who'd like to make the limoncello with me, uh, you can have at the moment tomorrow you have to buy but at the moment you need just um, the lemon uh, you you need just the water please uh, pardon and uh, sugar because after we have to uh, let it cold but now with you i make every step anyway if you have everything we can do but you'll have to wait for water mm, that is cold but we can make together of course <laughs> and we and you need lemon and the alcohol um, I won't just show you the alcohol that maybe is uh, more comfortable here this is the alcohol that we buy in Italy you see the the, the written that is uh, vice versa <laughs> of course anyway in the alcohol uh, we can buy the alcohol 95 degree that i know is impossible to find in usa so i suggest you because some people told me that it was a very good limoncello and arancello with absolute vodka or with uh, ever clear liqueur and many people assure me that this is a great uh, idea and they tried to make it so let's go with this recipe don't forget to, sh to share this live and streaming i hope to be clear with you ask me everything you know because i am with you and i ask you all your questions without problem and so please share with your friends if you like it and don't be shy and ask me everything okay so let's go with the first step i show you Yes, uh, I see the, the me a message from Denise that is saying Everclear is 95%. Yes, this is perfect because maybe you can see, even if it's Vivert's, 95% also the alcohol in Italy. So this 
could be uh, all right. Ciao Fiorella, ciao ciao ciao. <laughs> Mi fa piacere che ci sei. So girls, I want to show you my lemon. These are the lemons from my lemon tree, you know. So it's not important that your lemon will be so clean, so perfect. No, but there is a thing, and this is the first tip, the first trick that you have to write, absolutely write this. When you are going to make limoncello or arancello, you need to have lemon or orange with a thick skin. This is a thing that few people know, and sometimes you go to buy some lemon, lemons or orange that are very thin skin and when you go to peel them it's very difficult furthermore in the thin skin you have a lot of essential oil that comes uh, um, with the violence out from the fruits and out from the skin when you use a thick skin you are sure that you have the flavor, the perfume, first of all, then you'll have the essential oil. So you can leave in the alcohol, um, the, the, the skin um, and the zest for some days. But this is the second mistake that many people make to make arancello or limoncello, but I'll tell you after. So we can go now to peel our lemons. And in the recipe that I wrote you, you have the uh, amount for one liter of alcohol that is this. And so you have the ingredients from one bottle. Now in the live streaming, we make the half. So I show you the other half that I prepared before we do. Ciao, Jean Virginia! Ciao, ciao, ciao! Buongiorno! <laughs> so let's go with our lemons. You can see this. And I want to show you, in your case, I suggest you if they are like this, eight lemons. In, in our case, we are going to take four, okay? Four lemon because we are taking the, the half part. This is the second tip that I want to give you. If you buy a peeler like this, you'll be sure that um, you are peeling will come very easy and fast and perfect because when you have the other like a knife it's much more difficult to peel lemon now when you are using this many people think to make so but here you can go in your hand so please go always external and if you and take this very soft in this way so this is the third tricks that i want to tell you very soft it's like a, a, a music instrument and you go watch me how is it easy it's very easy there is no problem that you take the white part the perfume guys there is a perfume wonderful now here in my kitchen at the cooking school it's fantastic and uh, I want to show you how this is a shape and how this is good so I want to show you the the, the skin the inside and the outside so this is perfect because as you can see is absolutely without the white part everyone knows why you have not to use the white part in the limoncello or in the orancello, you know, because otherwise it comes bitter. And that's why we have not to use the white part. Don't be extremely precise. If you have a small piece, you can. But there is another mistake that is much more important apart from the white or yellow part. But I want to show you how it's easy. So if meantime that I'm peeling, you have some question, girls and guys, please ask me because I'm very, very happy to, to, to answer you because this recipe needs to be made with the right step. 
and uh, I'd like you make it perfect because it's really, really a good recipe and is, my, is in my heart, you know? <laughs> it's a family recipe, it's in my heart. We, we can go with this. This is my fourth lemon. So girls and guys, if you have some question, please. And we go ahead and I want to show you how many pieces we can have with four of these lemons. You can use also orange, eh, as I told you. And the orancello, tell you the truth, is my fave because I use orancello for many, many uh, desserts and for many cakes. And so I, I love it. I want to show you my bowl, even if you already so before and sorry girls okay and now with this perfume wonderful perfume how many lemons peel okay annette i answer you uh, you have to peel eight lemons i used f just four because i make i'm making the live streaming with the other part that i made before so if you have eight lemons i give you all the amounts in the ingredients in the event so don't worry because after the the facebook live streaming is done i jump here again to answer to your question but you'll see also all the ingredients and uh, no problem but that we you you'll have everything the live streaming is done First of all, to tell you some important tricks for limoncello, for a perfect limoncello, because everyone, I think everyone, uh, people that I know, many, 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 uh, in the USA and in other country make a very, um, a, a, a mistake that can't be um, okay with the limoncello. And I tell you mm, very soon, <laughs> what this is this is this mistake and i'm sure you know i'm sure that maybe you make <laughs> as well okay so girls now we have this and what's our goal is to put this skin this zest in a, a, a glass jar like this for example you see i put this here in a in a jar like this and I uh, pour here my alcohol with our zest. So tell me if you can see me fine. I go here directly with my zest. So this is very easy, yeah? It's very easy, but you know, you have to peel uh, well and fine, and this is not so easy. And I take my alcohol. I told you, if you haven't alcohol, you can use absolute vodka or ever clear 95%. And this, that is a half a liter, as I told you, because the other half liter is uh, in my other preparation that I am using for this Facebook live streaming. Okay, and now you have to close with a lid this. You see, just alcohol and this, and you put this in a dark place. So, this is, I am telling you now, what's the mistake, okay? Are you ready? So I put this in a dark place, here in my kitchen. And I'm telling you what's a big mistake. The big mistake for everyone, I think, who, who make uh, limoncello or orancello is that they put the lemon zest or the orange zest in alcohol for minimum 20 days, 30 days, 40 days, no, no, no. This is a big mistake because you put in the alcohol something that is a big, huge flavor and after seven days maximum, 
the essential oil comes out from the skin, from the zest of the lemon. And if you leave them in the alcohol, the essential oil comes out and your limoncello will have some bubbles, some, uh, like some uh, uh, points of oil that bubbling in your bottle. And when you drink your limoncello or arancello, you drink something mm, a bit spicy. And this is not okay because limoncello and arancello has to be like the velvet in your mouth and very good in your stomach to digest. So please, this is the, my, my suggestion and uh, in my experience, many years of experience, you can, <laughs> you can be sure, live at maximum seven days your zest in your mm, glass jar and alcohol maximum seven days this is what i tell you then you can you can make as you prefer but you'll see the essential oil and this is not so good so we go with the second step the second step is preparing the syrup the syrup that i prepare for you now in this moment but i suggest you to prepare the night before to ma making the the limoncello ciao Lars. buonasera Lars. ciao 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 so here in this case we have okay Denise, mi fa piacere. Here in this case we have our water. So this is half a liter of water that is uh, one pound and three tablespoon. Okay, and here we are going to make a syrup with the sugar. And uh, if you use the amount that I wrote you, so if you use this recipe with the amount that I wrote you and I'll write you in, the, uh, um, in this event, you'll have one liter of alcohol and one liter of water and one kilo of sugar. One kilo is two pounds and something. In this case is the half part. That's why I'm using a half a liter, okay? So half a liter and uh, one pound um, and uh, three tablespoons of sugar. So, we are going with two cups because one cup, you have to know that one cup is almost 200 grams. Okay, so one, two, and just a bit that could be three tablespoons. And we put this on the stove. And I want to show you everything here. You come with me, girls and guys, eh? so I can show you everything, I hope. <laughs> okay, I think you can see, you can watch. Now, sorry if maybe I can see your comments, but I am in a strange position, but I want that you see because this is another uh, very important step that is very, very difficult um, to make, uh, not to make, very simple to make, but that many people think that is not so important to follow. Because it's, it was very easy if I told you, okay, prepare a simple syrup with water and sugar. Simple. No, you have to see. I want you to see the texture. I want to see the color because the sugar has completely been melted, dissolved in the, um, in the water. Silvia, late! <laughs> Silvia, don't worry. Uh, we, we just peel our lemon and I show you the, the peeler, the lemon peeler that is fantastic. <laughs> and now we are preparing the, the syrup. That is the second step, very important. But if you, if you can follow me now, you understand everything as well. Don't worry, Silvia. <laughs> so as you can see, we have our sugar that is dissolving, but with a spoon, I can touch the bottom of my pot and I can touch there is always some uh, grain. Eh? So this is no good. We have to wait and going mixing. 
When you see that everything is a soft liquid, this is a, a very important trick. You have not to touch anything that is not liquid at the bottom of your pot. And that's why I want to show you, because the color of your sugar and water has to become so uh, pale, white pale, transparent, but not so, um, not so transparent, because the sugar is a, um, a lot of quantity together with the water. So now, with my spoon, I can touch the bottom, and I know everything is dissolved. You see? Three minutes, I think. Two minutes. Okay, so we turn off the fire. And we take this and we leave this to um, rest. This is exactly what I told you before. Sorry. I okay, Gerard. Because now we have our water and our syrup uh, that need to be um, uh, cold when you are going to make your limoncello. So I hope to, um, that I have been clear. Hmm? You tell me if I am not clear. So we peel the zest and we put in the alcohol. Then you, do the, you make the simple syrup and then you leave it resting and um, to be cold. You let it cool and maybe the morning after, if you are making it now, the morning after, um, you know that is cold. So this is a simple syrup. You have not to do together with uh, the same day that you peel the zest because as I told you, you have to leave your peeled lemon zest seven days in alcohol. So this is the right procedure. You peel the lemon, you put in the alcohol, you leave in a dark place, close your jar for seven days. The six days, the sixth day, you make the syrup. Leave the syrup, let it cool one night, and the day after, you proceed to make the limoncello and to put it in the bottle, okay? Everything is clear. So here I have, here in my, just here, I have my lemon zest that have been in alcohol for how many days? How many days? Seven, <laughs> okay? Not 20, not 30, not 47. Okay, so we have this that have been in alcohol for seven days. And I have also my syrup that I made before. So I made it this morning and now that this evening is cold to, uh, to make the, the limoncello um, in this way. I want to show you that the, the lemon is very, very light. The color is fantastic as you can see. <laughs> this is a fantastic, but you can't see the essential oil. If you see, there are no bubbles, there, are no, there isn't something like fat uh, that is on the top of your liquid. This is no good because the essential oils are a bit spicy and they are not cool, good when you drink. Do you keep the syrup in the refrigerator overnight? No, this is not important, Carla. You can live outside with a lid. You can make in a, I make it, um, you know where I make it, in a, in a pot where I cook pasta. I make there, the, um, I make there the syrup and then I leave the, the lid over. And the day after is, uh, uh, is cold. So it's not important that it's very cold. It's cold, it's, it's important it's not warm or hot. Okay, just room temperature is perfect. So we take this, I take also, my syrup that, that I made before. And now we can go to put our limoncello and to mix together these fantastic ingredients. These are fantastic ingredients that need to be mixed. But why they are fantastic? They are fantastic because here there is a simple syrup made very well and there is no um, crystals of sugar. I recommend this. 
And here we have not essential oil. So this is what will give a fantastic flavor and the perfection to your limoncello. In my opinion, this is exactly the, the reason, okay? So now we put this in our bowl, sorry. We start with the syrup. Okay, hope you can see. And now we have to go with our alcohol here. I don't want to lose any drop. <laughs> okay. So here we have the two magic mixer. Alcohol, seven days and sugar. You know, I have also another, well, look at, look at the color because it's, it's uh, something of magic. <laughs> Look at it's a, it's fantastic. I want to tell you also um, another thing that, it, in my opinion, is a, is a, is very cool. With the, the lemon zest, many people always ask me what I I have to do with this. I, I can I just throw just throw it in the garden, just throw something somewhere, just throw in the rubbish. You can leave this in a paper, in a kitchen paper, let they dry, and then you can put in some uh, small bags with uh, some lemon essential perfume and put in the in your uh, with your dresses, uh, with your uh, uh, things that you that you put over, and so you always have a good good smell in everything that you have at your home and you close in your armchair. Perfetto. Okay. So you see this the color that is uh, fantastic. Okay. And now I want to show you just how we are going to put in the bottle. You know, this is a nice bottle. Eh? I bought it to the market. We take a spoon. Okay. Everything, uh, you can see me. Maybe I think I think a big, a bit more high. Uh, maybe now is better. Okay, ecco qua, and we put our limoncello directly in the bottle, in this way. So you are sure that is mixed because you are mixing two times. The first time you put alcohol, then you put together to the alcohol the syrup, then you mix with another spoon and you put in your bottle. Ecco fatto. You have a lot of limoncello now. I think you have four bottles. Not all, all one liter, of course, but anyway. Look at the color, it's fantastic. I can't be tired to tell you, look at the color. <laughs> this is, a, is a really nice. And we go with another. So this, just I show you, the the amount of uh, simply uh, the half part of the recipe that i'm going to to write you but i think that it is already written in the event anyway can, you can see so you can understand easily understand the amount and i want to see and i want you may you can watch the color because I think the, the color of the limoncello is one of the most important um, question. So you, you see, we have uh, just a bit of uh, limoncello here, but we can, we can leave this. And these are our bottles. 
I want you just to, to clean a bit here so we are sure we have no water. So you know, we have two bottles and then we can, uh, with these uh, two bottles, we can also have more, of course. <laughs> ecco fatto. So, as you can see, this is fantastic. The color, okay, look at this. <laughs> I think the color is, uh, is uh, really, really uh, fantastic. And uh, you, you, at, this po uh, at this moment, you have your limoncello. You pour your limoncello and you can directly drink. If you want a suggestion, you have to put a lid like this in your bottle and you can leave this to rest for seven days because now it's very, very young. So it's, it's a bit better like for the wine, like for the, some liqueur and coffee or chocolate based to leave it resting for seven days. After this, the color will be the same but it will be much better to be, drink, to be drunk. Anyway, you can drink even at the moment. The color will change. So in one year, the color will be completely different. The flavor uh, will be maybe the same, but um, I think that when you drink something that has a, a good color is much more uh, inviting, you know? <laughs> I made, oh, Silvia, I made so much of it in a way with my friends Mayer, Lemon Trees, they came jealous shots. Okay, <laughs> bene. I like jealous shots. <laughs> bene, bene, Silvia. If you made this recipe, you have to tell me how it came out. Eh? Okay. So, girls and guys, next, uh, um, this is, was a, a, a free, the color is amazing, Vanda, grazie Vanda, grazie mille. <laughs> yes, Vanda, the color is amazing and I'm sure your color as well will be amazing if all of you follow these few steps, but very, very important steps. So, leave the zest one week and no more in the alcohol. I think that Everclear and Absolute Vodka, Vodka is good, so you can make with this. In Italy, we make it with pure alcohol that is possible mm, to buy on Amazon, yes. And um, you have to tell me how mm, did it taste. So if you respect the steps, I'm sure uh, it will be a great success because this is a great success in my family, I think from... 30 years, 40 years and maybe more, so mm, you can be sure. And, and my customers that come for cooking classes in Tuscany or for private chef in Tuscany and I make dinners for them, always have a limoncello after dinner. So uh, um, now that I have, at the end of the summer, I always finish all my limoncello and orangello because my customers and friends finish it. But when I have, I, I always offer and everyone say, this is fantastic, this is amazing, gorgeous. So I'm sure to have given you a very good recipe. Next, uh, I want to tell you that next week on, on Saturday, I have a, a, an affordable class about gnocchi. So you have to go to my blog, uh, cookingclassesintuscany.net store. And there you can find my, my class that maybe it will be with the gnocchi uh, and we'll make together for, tw uh, for 25 euros. So guys, I hope that everyone is okay. When I made last year, I left for 50 days. Okay, okay, I think that 50 days, maybe it depends from the uh, lemon, lemon, but all, also if you live uh, uh, for more days, uh, many times it's okay. It, there is just the risk of essential oil and there is just the risk that you don't like, but if you like this, it's not important. Many people make limoncello with essential oil that are in the, in the top. It's just to have it perfect, like if you want to um, um, sell it, okay? It's a professional made to, to make it. Allora, bellissima. Grazie, grazie a te Kelly. Thank you to you. <laughs> 
So, girls and guys, I hope to, to meet you next time. Uh, ciao, Lars, see you next Saturday for the course. Perfect. I, I wait for Jane as well. And uh, so, I, I wish you a very good weekend. Buona festa della mamma, Silvia. Buona festa della mamma a voi. Here in Italy, we have the festa della mamma on 8 of May, so today, but also on Sunday. Grazie, Vanda. Thank you to you. Did you store in the refrigerator? Did you serve cold? Yes, Kelly. Ciao, Kelly. <laughs> yes, you have to store this in the refrigerator always. And if you want another suggestion, thank you, Kelly, for your question. You have not to put here this kind of lid cord. You can use like this and you put in the freezer because the alcohol is a lot. And so you can be sure it doesn't freeze, but it's very, very good. So the real flavor of limoncello is uh, after you take it from the freezer. So this is a very, very cold. Limoncello needs to be very, very cold. Okay? Buona festa della mamma. Happy Mother's Day. Hope to meet you again. Share this uh, Facebook Live free streaming with your friends if you liked it. And I hope to meet you on my uh, blog, on my page, and that you follow me. Ciao, ciao a tutti. Ciao, ciao.